allowing me to have the opportunity to speak today. My name is Jack Anderson, and I am here to express my sincere concerns regarding the recently implemented picking procedure during the spring semester of 23 24 school year. First and foremost, I would like to address the transparency and official legitimacy of this policy. Despite multiple requests for the approved at risk report due to the school board every August 15th, for the 23 24 academic year, we have only been provided with the report from the 21 22 school year. This delay and the lack of clarity raise serious questions about whether the ticketing procedure has been officially approved. This is particularly troubling because such policies significantly impact our students and our families. It is crucial that they are fully vetted and transparently communicated. Furthermore, I have been informed that the directors of Allegheny County Youth and Family Services who collaborate with AASD on attendance issues were not included in discussions about the ticketing policy. They too are unaware of its official status. This exclusion of key stakeholders further adds to my concerns about the process by which this policy was developed and implemented. My questions to the board are as follows. One, is this new ticketing procedure officially approved? If so, by whom and when was this approval granted? Two, why has the requested average report for 23-24 not been provided despite multiple requests? Three, what steps are being taken to ensure a transparency and accountability in the implementation of this policy? Four, how are you ensuring that this policy is fair and equitable for all students? I have serious concerns about the ticketing procedure itself. AASD has informed us that they differentiate between students with chronic attendance issues and those who are present at school but engage in disruptive and adverse behaviors. Consequently, many of the programs established for students with chronic attendance issues do not include those who are disruptive or at risk while attending school. Ticketing students for at risk and disruptive behavior while at school is a punitive approach that can have long lasting negative effects on their academic and personal lives. In addition, it's deeply concerning that the online policy for the ticketing procedure on the AASD website right now is described as restorative. Merely labeling a punitive measure as restorative does not inherently make it so. Instead of helping students, it may push them further away from the educational system and create additional stress and challenges for their families. I would like to propose some alternative options. Restorative justice programs, such as educational classes on vaping and safe classrooms like a teacher at North High School has established. These programs can help students feel heard and supported rather than punished. Mentorship and counseling. One of the employees at CARES has offered to assist with writing a grant for a case study to run such programs. Increased parental engagement provide resources and support to help families understand the importance of attendance and how they can assist their children. Positive reinforcement, recognizing and celebrating improvements can motivate students to attend school regularly. Flexible scheduling, such as part-time schedules, online learning options, or alternative education programs. We have more ideas about these, but I'm limited on my time. In conclusion, it is imperative that we prioritize transparency, accountability, and collaboration to ensure that any policy affecting our students is fair, equitable, and in their best interests. I urge the board to address these concerns promptly and to make the necessary steps to rectify the current situation. By adopting alternative solutions, we can create a more supportive and effective approach to addressing attendance issues. Thank you for your time and attention. I look forward to your responses and to working together towards a solution that benefits all members of our school communities.